My journey to finding my personal style was rough. A lot of outfits, I felt like I couldn't pull them off. Not because I did not admire them. I just felt I didn't have the confidence. That's just it. That's the honest truth. I didn't have the confidence to pull those outfits off. Hey babe, my name is Joyce Chibroma and yeah. So today's video might relate to some and it might not relate to others. But trust me, you will learn a thing or two from this video. So don't go anywhere. Let's just get into this video, okay? As a kid, at a point in my life, I felt like I was going to go into modeling because I just love dressing up and taking pictures. I would try out different poses, take a lot of pictures. At some point, I even started matching my underpants as well. I wear blue bra and blue panties. Like, it was just... A fun moment for me trying out outfits, picking things that like fit my body and all that. I've always been a curvy girl for my age. Like people within my age range, as at when it was when I was 10, 12, like that. The things I had on me, they didn't have it. I had bum and some other places. There was some thickness to it. Okay, so I was never really. Thin. I was never really a skinny girl and then to crown it all I have always been a petite girl people want to call it petite but I like to identify as short because I know I'm short and I don't really see that term as derogatory you get but anyway just for the sake of this video let's use the word petite so I knew that I have always been petite and all that so I would wear short skirts bum shorts things like that that I felt like okay <laughs> this fits my body that's what I was doing then at some point people started sexualizing me because I told you guys my body where I was I was thick for my age and then I started covering up and that wasn't just when this covering up started. 2011 I said I didn't wait and a lot of people around me then I feel like people don't really understand and are not sensitive to people when they start putting on weight. Like me right now I can't tell somebody oh you don't fat though. I'm from Nigeria okay so I grew up in Nigeria so those are the themes that was used. Some comments were getting to me and then I started covering up when I started having stretch marks if i don't have the videos i would create one for you guys and put them on the screen so you can see as to what extent my stretch marks are so i still having stretch marks on my hand both hands and that just made me start covering up because i would hear comments like oh it's because you're adding weight or oh. <laughs> someone even asked me if i have she said <laughs> the worst part was this was a woman that was older than me this happened in ghana she saw me and she asked me if i have had kids because i had stretch marks and i looked at her and like oh, you're not serious and that made me say covering up i remember when i got into school initially when i got into college initially the college i had first um, applied for and gone to because i did switch colleges okay so i had first applied to this college and i was going to this college and i didn't really mind because i was mostly inside the hostel and just around the school i wasn't really going out as much the school the campus was so big so i was mostly inside i didn't really care about all those things so i would open up and i <laughs> i wasn't really thinking far about it but I started noticing that people would stare and all those things made me like it was affecting me psychology psychologically lord it was affecting me psychologically and i didn't know all that so i started covering up and because of that i couldn't dress the way that i wanted to dress there were a lot of outfits that i loved and i wanted to try when i was in school but i didn't try them because i felt that people would stare and yeah so that kind of limited me from actually trying out things that i wanted to try when, like when it regards my style and everything and i just feel like people should be more considerate of others There was once that something happened and I told my sister, we later spoke about it um, in the nearest future. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm taking you guys back. So in the nearest future, we spoke about it. But as at then, that was what I thought. I told her, I said, I felt like you were ashamed of me when you asked me to cover up. And she was like, no, why will I do that? I just told you to cover up because the person that was coming over was a male friend from school. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Was at that time I did feel like oh my god maybe she's also ashamed of my stretch mark but then the thing is that it was my mind playing games with me that was what I felt I felt like that was what she was trying to say every little thing was staring me in that direction so I started trying to dress like my sisters as well oh what are you wearing out today oh 
let me go and wear something similar so i'll tell my sister then my elder sister let's say we're going out and she's wearing a shoe and i'm wearing slip-ons i'll be like why are you wearing a shoe and i'm wearing slip-ons i'll go and change my outfit just because i didn't want to seem like okay i was i didn't know what i was doing or i just wanted to look right and i felt like looking up to her i'm dressing like her meant that i was dressing right but then the thing is you can never be like anybody else you can only be yourself i just wanted to find myself but i was finding it in the wrong place because i was finding it in someone else my short-lived weight loss i lost so much weight that if you had seen me then i said i'll find pictures and i'll attach them to the screen so you can see i lost so much weight that i personally was shocked at the weight loss but then i didn't lose it the right way i started doing something called watermelon diet <laughs> I didn't eat any other thing than watermelon for like two weeks or three weeks and then i did the only protein diet i think that was the duquesne diet or something like that i've tried a lot of diets actually <laughs> i think i'll talk about my weight loss in a very different video but this video the weight loss does play a big factor in how i found my style and yeah what happened before i found my style so yes i tried the duquesne diet and everything and i came back home looking like a different person but i felt so happy it was like <laughs> i was so confident certain things that i wouldn't have worn i was wearing them although i was still covering my arms because that was that became an insecurity over time for me so i still i covered my arms while i was wearing things i was so confident in <laughs> what i was wearing but that weight loss was short-lived when my dad died i started adding weight and i realized that i'm a very emotional eater so when i'm going through things if i'm feeling depressed i'm definitely going to add weight so during that period i added a lot of weight and that just took away the <laughs> short-lived weight loss that i had and it took away my confidence as well and that was when i realized that yes something something is definitely wrong because how can I go from a girl that was so confident and wearing what I want, doing whatever I want, to now having to go back into my shell? So I started thinking, I did some deep thoughts and I'm like, okay, so what is wrong? Why is this happening? And that's one thing. Sometimes when you notice an issue with your life or you notice something changing about yourself. Sorry, I talk a little with my hands. You notice something changing about yourself. Take a step back go back and think about it why is this happening this has never happened before why am i feeling this way why is this insecurity here where is this turning from so yes that's what i did and i went back and i started thinking about it and i'm like i'm like even the stuffs that i wear that's not really my style when i wear them of course i feel confident but then i don't really like it per se i want to be able to show my arms when i wear certain dresses i want to be able to wear certain shirts certain shirts that i feel like at this length and i'm comfortable and i'm not feeling like someone is looking at me or anything like that i had to do the inner work and then two steps that i took in finding my style so let's now get into how i found my style understand what i love pick out what i love understand my body type understand the fact that i am short and i am curvy as well so certain things will not just look right on me i started understanding all those things so that's the first step that i took understanding the different styles that are out there and picking my style and understanding my body as well okay I started by blocking out every voice like every single voice the voice of my family members the voice of my friends the voice of everybody like right now if i take a picture and you tell me hey i don't really like this i'm not hearing you as long as i love it that's what's important because sometimes it's very easy for people to want to change you into what they are i don't take that much recommendations from a lot of people even on youtube here it's not everybody's video on styling like how to style this that i listen to it's what i like what i feel like i'm comfortable in it when i look at myself in the mirror do i love what i'm seeing that's that's the only thing i'm thinking about i blocked out every other person's voice in my head out of my insecurities as well and that's how i became confident like now whatever i wear i'm like i'm the shit i'm the bit i'm the <laughs> so yeah that's just it so that's how you can find your style as well too 
block out every negativity find the style that you feel that befits you and you know that you love and that's my journey to finding my style as a short curvy girl i love you all and i hope to see you all in my next one subscribe like share and comment bye Go, 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 yeah, go, go, go.